Welcome to Bips Real. So today I want to create my full palette for my single shadows. Um, oh shoot, I didn't realize all this was in there. Um, all right, let me get that out. And I do have this nine pan tart palette, um, magnetic palette, that's where we went to our fill, just nine shadows. I don't, I have a relatively good size you no know, collection for my singles. It's nothing huge, but it's definitely not small. I definitely need two. So I have my all of my ColourPop right here. There's some of my ColourPops in this one as well. And then I have pretty much everything else, which all of these are Lara Los Angeles, and this one's our Sephora collection, and then this just are random ones that I have because I don't know. <laughs> all right. Uh, I know I'm super late with all my fall video content. I know I already put theirs out last month, and it's November, and we're almost... You know, it's almost Christmas, it's almost winter, and I'm just not putting it out, but it's okay. So anyway, before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to become a resident of Evstro. And yeah, let's get started. So to me, I am a basic-ass bitch when it comes to fall. <laughs> it, I feel like I always go for the same thing. I go for really, like, dark bronzes. I go for reddish colors, oranges, maroons, yellows. Unfortunately, I don't have all of those shades in single shadows. Maybe there's a gap. However, I don't feel the need to fill in those gaps at this, you know, at this time, just because I know I have a lot of those shades in my collection. In fact, this is the palette that's in my pie project pan. This is a proceed with caution with um Shayla. Oh my god, proceed with caution, the color of X Shayla. Jesus Christ. But anyway. Everything that I just told you, right there. <laughs> so I definitely don't need those shades. I have them, and I don't need to have them in single shadow format. So I'm going to do the best that I can to have those, that same color scheme that attracts me in the fall in what I got. So let's start with the ones that I know for sure I'm going to be getting. So I know I'm going to be getting Tan Tan because this is like my go-to transition shade. It is so necessary. I'm going to go with Summertime. And I know it's not summer, but look at that burnt orangeness, and it's really nice. It's not too too dark. Um, can definitely be transitioned, and you can definitely build big build up. I really like um, Lara Los Angeles formula for building shadows up. You can definitely start soft and um, build to a really dark deepening, or you can just make a soft wash. So really like that. And then I know I'm gonna go because I really like greens as well. But I like more olive tone greens versus more bright or soft greens. I love green year round. But this one right here, it's a really unique shade. It's almost like a silver green. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I don't I, I literally don't know how to describe it. And I don't know that this is doing a good way of like showing it. It's like it's it has like a green undertone, but it's silver and it's olive and it's it's just very unique, and I really like it, and I think it'll go really well in this time of the year. Okay, so I'm adding that in. So, so far, this is what we have in the palette, and I'm calling it from this one. So I'm going to go to the ColourPop one, and I know for a fact I'm going to want to get this one right here, which is Captain, um, Team Captain, I think it is? Hold on. Yeah, Team Captain, which is this beautiful olive green, which is exactly what I'm looking for, and I think these two shades together will look really really pretty so i'm excited about that all right i'm gonna be that classic that classic bitch again i am going to be getting paper tigers it, it, i feel like there's no better you know fall shade like paper tigers is that fall shade and i have surprisingly a really nice a really healthy looking dip right there so We'll see where that goes. All right. Um, I always feel like I need to have um, a cream shadow in there. So I'm going to grab this one right here. I always feel like I need to have something like this to be able to tone down things, to make things pop a little bit more. I definitely like to highlight my brow bone with more of a matte color than necessarily a golden or shimmery shade. So I think that will be really good and it will be easier to blend out that grim, get a green. So this is what we're looking at so far. So we're looking at something very warm, more green right here. All right. So 
I think I'm gonna choose the shade Ratty, which is a which is similar to Summertime over here. But as you can see, this is more red tone, this is more bright, and I wonder if this if this will give me like similar looks. I'm not sure. I feel like in camera they look a lot closer to what they are, but in person this looks almost red. It looks a lot darker and this looks almost like neon. So I don't know how this one's gonna play out. This is kind of an oddball for me, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, let's see what else we got here. I am debating putting Tiki, which is this one right here, because I feel like Tiki is really, really bright, but it doesn't pack much of a punch. Um, see that it, it's so soft. I don't know that it would make big of an impact, so I'm debating that one. I definitely want to put something a little bit lighter, so I'm going to put IOU, which is this one right here, and it's just a soft, soft, like warm brown, and I think that'll be a really nice transition shade to put in there. Just kind of caught it by surprise. So this is what we're looking like so far. I don't know. I want, I want, a, I want something to pops, and I don't, I don't feel like I got that yet. I'm like wondering if anything from here. Let's go back to this Laura Lula one. I just feel like there's something miss, missing, and I don't know. Hmm. Should I go with vacay or should I go? with syllability. So this is va um, vacay, which is like a olive. Please don't crack. Oh my God. I am way too cl cleanse. I'm, I'm acting like a klutz right now. I need to stop. <laughs> okay, back to this. So it's like a gold, but it's like it has like a really green undertone. It looks a lot more green. I feel like in real life it looks really golden-ish here, but it isn't. And then there's just a really classic bronze. No, I'm gonna go with this one. Let's go for the pop, right? Let's why do I keep doing this? Hold on. So that happened. It's fine. Thank you, Jesus. But just look at this beautifulness. And as you can see, it's very different color from the other one that I had before. So I'm really excited about this. I actually think this is definitely more bold than what I was going for. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am totally okay with that. So this is what my fall palettes look at. I think this is my most diverse palette color story that I've done so far. I don't know, my summer one was definitely out there. <laughs> But this one, I am really excited about it. I think it looks really good. I'm looking forward to it. I would have done a look with it today if it wasn't for the fact that I already did my makeup today. Um, I had to, I had a bunch of errands to run today and I didn't have time to film it. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do like a ready with me maybe on Tuesday and just kinda, you know, play with the, the all the shadows. I don't know what to do. What in the heck? I swear I don't have butterfingers. But you wouldn't know it, not would you? <laughs> not the way I'm acting. Um, so I don't know if I should do a good ready with me or if I should do a three looks, one palette like I did last time. I think a couple people like that, so I'm debating it. So let me know if you would like to see a three looks, one palette with this palette right here or if you would love to see more of just a get ready with me just to like show off some of the colors but not really all of them i'm really looking forward to it. this i'm super excited about this color so like looking at it this is this is fall to me this is very fall I, if that was a little bit darker like i said i don't have the most the largest selection of single shadows but i feel like i have a large enough selection where i'm okay with it <laughs> um i kind of wish i had something like was a little bit darker than this so it can give a little more dimension and maybe a little bit like a darker brown as well to give a little more dimension between this two, but I am okay with what I've got. I, I realize that these two do look a little similar, but I don't really have any other really summery colors that I'm, sorry, not summery, but fall colors that I, I'm enjoying from my collection right now that are popping at me, so this is what we're working with. 
anyway, that's it. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.